Well, I'm here again in a different location, but the same purpose. I'm here at the American Red Cross building today. Still working on my project of donating plasma for COVID-19 people who tested positive and who are still fighting this COVID pandemic pandemic disease. I'm thankful to the Lord for still being having a desire to work on such a project or work on this project. Yes, I'm still with the desire in honor of several, namely my sister Miriam Ward Cover, my sister Suzanne Ward Henry, myself Mary Ward Cater, and even going as far as, although that they were not here during this pandemic time, my mother, Thelma Ward, and Gwendolyn Dillard. I come from a large background of family. And I wanted to go a little bit further into describing what a donation for COVID-19 plasma is. It's art one of my sisters called to get more information on this. So let me just get right on into it. In our United States today, it is said that by June the 1st, 100,000 people would die from COVID-19. As of today, and I'm reading, 88,183 people have died. 1.4 million have tested positive for COVID-19. 1.4 million. From the age of 65 through about 80, 13.4 last week seniors had died 8 out of 10 with COVID. And as I was studying on this COVID plasma, God gave me a thought on it. And the thought was the precious blood plasma. The precious blood plasma. Think about it. And it's only just a thought. When the Lord placed Jesus in the womb of Mary... Lots of folks didn't believe this, but God did it. God did it. He touched a woman's womb and put the Savior of the world in that woman's womb. Sarah. Sarah is another example. An old woman. 98 years old, God touched Sarah after her putting her hands in everything. And she conceived a baby that would be a king of nations. Yes, God did it. God can do anything but fail. Well, 
Now, how can we not think of the 1.4 million people, the 88,183 deaths, and of the 1.4 million that have not died but contracted this deadly disease by June the 1st 100,000 is said to will die in the United States I'm only talking about the United States right now I live in the United States and I was thinking as I was thinking about the American Red Cross and uh, CXI or uh, the other companies that are for money donating, uh, uh, con um, offering to collect plasma, this blood plasma. Blood is one thing. Plasma is another thing. Plasma is something totally different. Plasma comes out of your blood. And plasma is a different color. It's always good to Google and, and to just look at what's being said to educate ourselves, especially church folks, especially us. Why can't we think instead of being shamed? No, I didn't want to get no COVID-19. I didn't want to test no positive. No, no. It wasn't a blessing from heaven. It was a blessing from heaven that I recovered. That I recovered. Prayerfully, it was a blessing that others did not suffer in that death state, in the in the in that death period of time. But you may ask. Well, we should be ashamed that we contracted this deadly disease. I dare you. Don't you be ashamed. You better be thankful God brought you through. And the prayers of the righteous was heavy. I know they was heavy because I knew too many that was praying. And if you think about how God brought his son through 42 generations from heaven to earth to redeem man back to him. If you think about how he put a baby in the womb of Sarah. Uh, well, how he put a baby, gave Sarah a baby. That's the bottom line. Think about those people that did contract this COVID-19. That God put an antidote in your body. Your special body. That maybe it's not positive. There is no cure, they say, for COVID-19. They're trying everything from hospital to hospital, state to state, country to country, to get rid of this pandemic. But think about it. Think about it. That 1.4 million people have an antidote, maybe, in your body. Like Jesus planted in the womb of Mary to bring his son through 42 generations that you may be a part of this too. To donate something back to another human to live again. Maybe. I have to keep saying the word maybe. 
because it's not a proven theory. In one state, they had a test of 43 patients. And they gave a number of how many lived and were helped through the plasma. And then some did die. So there is no perfect solution. There is no sure solution, in my opinion. There is no sure solution. But, but I just believe, I believe, Maybe God put what they believe, the doctors and the sciences, scientists and all, an antidote in the body. Now, what a God we serve. An antidote in the body. In my body. In my body. Let me tell you why I'm taking it so personal. My sister was personal to me. I was personal to me. Let me jump back for a second on the shamefulness of contracting this deadly disease. I'm not shamed because I was at work doing what my job requires. When somebody sneezed on me, I knew they did. It made me think of Dr. King. They sneezed on me. On a Monday. On a Wednesday, I was really sick. I had no appetite. Food, I had no taste whatsoever. I was weak. On that Thursday, I noticed my nose was bleeding. And I coughed blood. But I just thought, hmm, well, don't let it go to my mind and my head and me thinking stuff. I went to rest in my car for lunch. I didn't get better because I ended up with a fever of 103.8. And I was thinking, Lord, well, I've been to the doctor two or three times this month. I can't take off work. How am I going to deal with this? Um, Seem like I might need to go to the doctor to be checked. Now, I'm not saying it was heavenly sent, but I've been all right. God has made ways out of no way. My job, our job has been good to us. Our job has been good to us. But we were furloughed that evening, that evening. And it wasn't an ugly thing. It was nice. But God said, I heard him when he told me, obey. I went to the doctor the next day. I just went to just be checked on my own. And when I got to the doctor, I promise you within 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes, they had two IVs going in my arm. They had antibiotic going in my body. I had a fever of 101. They had oxygen on me. My oxygen had went down below 80. Can't go below 80. I had, had, they had to do an EKG. They took four of the little pints of blood. They took tubes of blood. Probably more was done. I just can't think of it right this minute at Kenny Stone Hospital. I was admitted in the ho- Yeah, they did a, a, a chest x-ray. I couldn't breathe. 
I was admitted into the hospital and all that was done, I think, within 45 minutes. Thank God I was considered a first responder. Thank God. So I don't have time for shame. Okay, because I didn't do something to myself. Shame is sin. Shame is doing the wrong thing. Shame is not getting up to go to work at 65 years old. So I'm thankful to the Lord that I'm all right. I'm thankful to God that he chose. My son sent me a text the other day. Mom, I'm thankful that you're living. Oh, it was so precious. Fawn sent it to me. I was so precious. It was so precious. I was not thinking about that. And he was just thankful that God spared my life. Donate COVID-19 plasma. I had a person to call and ask, well, how does a person do this? It's a long process. It's not an overnight. I want to read to you. It said, if you have fully recovered from COVID-19, you may be able to help patients currently fighting the infection by donating your plasma. Plasma is different than donating blood. Because you fought the infection, your plasma now contains COVID-19 antibodies. My son has been working with me so that this old lady can understand what antibodies mean and what it's all about. These antibody, antibodies provide one way for your immune system to fight the virus when you were sick. So your plasma, your plasma may be, I like to use that term, they use the term may be able to be used to help others fight off the disease. What is this? Covenson plasma. It is liquid, the liquid part of the blood that is collected from patients who have recovered from the novel coronary virus disease. COVID-19 caused by the virus SARS, S-A-R-S, COVID-2, COVID-19. Patients developed antibodies in the blood against the virus. I could go on and read and read to you more and more. I invite you to go to, now you got different plasma sites. Some of those sites are given up to $400 for people to donate this plasma. $300. I love the American Red Cross. I love the American Red Cross. They're not paying you to give that uh, uh, plasma. But I was reading where one state is totally out of blood. Mm -hmm. So can you imagine not having enough to help somebody? Now, what is the process of doing this? What is the process? The first process for giving for COVID-19, and I'm talking about COVID-19 plasma. You have to have tested positive. Don't be shamed. Don't be shamed. They say that more black people are having the virus. Count yourself a blessing. 
count yourself a blessing. When we are educated, when we are learned, when we know more black peoples I see are in line giving blood many times. Yeah, I do. More are, 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 are in those lines. But then more of everybody. Let me tell you something. This ain't a race thing. This is a, this is a disease that attack your breathing system. It's not about your race. It's not about how much money you got. Because now it has affected the United States White House. It's not about your money. It's not about your race, color, creed, religion, national origin. It's not about all of that. Any and everybody is catching this. The hospitals are packed. Oh, yes. The hospitals are packed. If you stepped out of the door of your house that morning, any morning, and went to work to earn an honest pay, why should you be ashamed? Today I stand firm on the word of God, but I stand firm on the love for my sister who didn't die from the COVID, although she did contract the COVID sometime in the course of when she was in the hospital or when she wasn't in there, but she was in the hospital when we found out. My sister passed away from her ventilator and the ventilator blew in her lungs as they was trying to do an x-ray on her. Yes, but my sister was a fighter to the end. At, on April the 12th, my sister they had set her up with the tube in her arm to give her blood or plasma, whichever you want to call it. They believed that it would help her. They believed it would save her life. If it had not been from the ventilator, my sister would have let him gave her the blood the family would have because we had already approved that part of it. And I believed that she would be alive today. My other sister was treated at home. Yes. Tested positive. But out of 67 nieces and nephews, out of over 300 great nieces and nephews, all the way down to the eighth generation. Did you hear me? All the way down to the eighth generation, and mostly everybody except for a handful, one family, two families, live right here in Atlanta, Georgia. Nobody else tested positive. In the house that we live, even down to the husband of 53 years, nobody tested positive. Everybody was negative. In the next house, my sister's, my other sister, my other sister, it was only three sisters that tested positive. I was among one. I was among one. My sister was in the hospital on March the 1st with a breathing condition at Cobb Wellstar, not with Covey. We didn't know anything about Covey until in April sometime. We have no shame is sin. Shame is stealing. Shame is going and killing somebody. Shame is doing wrong. Shame is not living. Shame is not doing the right thing. Thank God we all had the sense.
to get to the hospital. Thank God my son had the sense to go to two hospitals that turned him down. Yes, he only had pneumonia. And someone asked me a question about pneumonia versus COVID. Pretty much COVID is the pneumonia. That's, that's the breathing condition that attacks your lungs. And, and I like to learn and be intelligent about what I'm learning about. Yes. Yes. It's important to be learned. Places are not asking you to, to give plasma, just plasma, to give just blood. But yeah, giving blood is, is a good thing. But COVID-19 plasma, you have to have a paper showing that you tested positive. I have no shame. I have no shame, especially after getting that email from my son telling me, Mama, I thank God that you are alive. On Mother's Day, he sent it after Mother's Day. He didn't send it Mother's Day. I thank God. Don't know what was going through his mind, but I do thank God for it. Then after you have to show that you had COVID to give this plasma. Now with me, with me, on April the 21st, I got another paper from a second doctor that read my papers and he saw differently on those papers. My doctor was from Emory University that read those papers. Then I had to go to a third doctor. See, it's not an easy process. When you donate blood, plasma, if we are doing it the right way and how they're telling us, uh, uh, you have to show, you have to wait those 14 days. I was in isolation at the hospital and I was in isolation at home for many days, over 14 days. Okay, then on top of that, you have to go back and there's another paper that you will get after you retest. And this paper is a negative report. SAR-CoV-2, negative, negative, negative. And for me, I had to even go back and do a fourth something. I had to see my doctors in between there, and you do too. I had to um, be cleared to go back to work, okay, uh, uh, and, and get information, get a letter from them if I was healthy. And here on the, if you read here on the screen, it says people who have fully recovered from COVID-19 for at least two weeks are encouraged to consider donating plasma, which may help save the lives of other patients. We're in this together. We're learning together. Yes, many may want to donate. One place that I talk, spoke with, if you're over 64, you can't give there. I appreciate that place because with the other addict conditions that we, could, that we have attributed, uh, sugar, high blood, uh, and other conditions, it may not be safe for you to do this. And I, and I love my doctors at Emory. I love you. That said, 
that you got to go to your primary provider. They have to approve it too. Some people have heart conditions, as in my family. HCM runs in my family. A genetic heart disease, whereas that I can just be standing and drop dead. Yes. Coming from my great, great, great grandma or granddaddy. Yes. So it's a lot of things that has to be checked out. I love how the Red Cross and and even the other sites have placed on their sites. Uh, The stage that I'm in at this point, I submitted my paperwork to the American Red Cross. Okay, Uh, my doctor suggested uh, uh, talk to the uh, plasma donor, uh, the places that you can donate plasma. It just so happened ending up that it was the American Red Cross. I submitted my paperwork. Yeah, I'm committed to this. I submitted my paperwork. And uh, they're reviewing all my paperwork. Because you have to have had COVID-19. You you have to have your documentation. It's not about getting $400. It's not about getting $300. And the money don't matter to me. I didn't need the money. And I've never been able to say that in 23 years. But I didn't need the money. It's just a matter of... And for me, it, it was a good thing. Having have been appointed as by my national... By my bishop... Norman Odea Harper as the uh, jurisdictional political action person for the South Central Georgia Church of God in Christ. It's important that I be educated in this type of donation, giving blood plasma. Because it is We're 90 churches plus all over Georgia. And we have to give the right information. I have to represent my supervisor of women who is a medical doctor to the fullest and best of knowledge and my ability. So I've had to go, I've had to go the distance to get the right information. Even after being tested positive, being tested negative, I still had to go more distance. I had to deal with the age. My primary provider who may say, no, your heart may not be able to donate. Your other conditions, those underlying conditions, may be a little bit too much for you to donate. Or may not. It's important to go the distance. We are a Pentecostal movement, and I work with all churches. I work with the Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, Holiness, uh, non-denominational, but we want our seniors to have the correct information, too. In um, the history, it says that 13... Hold on just a minute. I want to tell you the right thing. It tells us that thirteen point four as of a week or two ago from sixty five to eighty.
13.4 either contracted or died. COVID-19. And that's not even up to date. That's a few weeks ago. Yeah, that's a few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. So, as we wrap this up, and we invite you, those that can, some may not be able to donate plasma. And there's a second part to this. They even have a test that there are many that didn't go, wasn't in the hospital like me four days. There are many that was not in ICU, but treated at home. You can also be tested to see if a virus, not so much as COVID, because everything is under test right now. If a virus went through your body and antidotes were built up to fight against COVID-19. I bless those that work in the field just from this desire to give in honor of my sister my other sister and myself. Three recipients of COVID-19 and even the ones that I know is so many that had it that overcame and recovered fully. In honor of them, I have learned so much from this experience of donating back to the plasma. Not just donating, but talking to the people. My desire is to talk to them all over the nation. That's what my desire is. On the pros and the cons, some can give, some can't. But it's always something that you can do to help another. It's Lord help us to help somebody. It's always something that you can do. My desire is the blood, the plasma is needed. Some will be able to give it, some won't be able to give it. It might be that you have to do like my son did. We went out to Precinct 1, Precinct 2, Cobb Police Department. We went out to the Kennesaw Police Department and just did a meal to law enforcement. So many have gone out past the Teagues, went out to the hospital and did a meal to the hospital workers. It is something the Bible said Whatever your hands find to do, do it. Do it. You know, you we can talk the positive talk and do nothing, and it's just talk at that point. But there's something you can find to do. I, we was at the hospital, Pastor Cater, when we was doing the prayer, and the man walked up and handed us the thing that goes around your neck to hold the um, face mask in place. He made thousands of them. It's always something that we can do. I encourage you. Check into giving blood plasma. Check into giving blood plasma. If you can. We talk about yeah, we do. Or have that poor person on the street that gives blood to get $30. Or get, just think how many have saved 
so many lives. They say one pint of blood can save three people. Just think, the folks that many have talked about giving their blood, yeah, the folks that many have talked about giving their blood, even down to the black people, now we need them. We need those that have, they need them that have tested positive. And as I look and I've seen places where they were lined up, it may be due to the money. Where I said I didn't need it, somebody else might need it. But if it's going to save a life, I think it's all right. I think it's all right to do it. I think it's all right if the federal government has put it out there for so many to be paid to donate this antidote. It's all right. Let us, the church, we got to learn all about it. I never thought I would be dealing with, now I've given blood before, but I never on this earth thought that my blood would be so precious. The antidote in my blood. After having a virus to help somebody to live. To help somebody to live after fully recovering. Now I count that a blessing. I count God as a miraculous savior to do that. I do. That an antidote can be in my body? An antidote to help somebody. Mm -hmm. If I can't do anything but give the good word, talk about the positive effects, tell you the procedures, that's a job right there. Telling you the procedures. American Red Cross, my application is there. I submitted it, and I'm waiting the next step to hear from the American Red Cross. Then I need to hear from my doctors, my primary health care providers, if it's safe, if it's all right for me to give it. But in, in honor of my sister's and myself, I'm willing to go the distance. I'm going the distance. I blessed my doctor who said he was just, that his office was excited at my age that I was willing to do it and even had the thought to do it. Some people have the thought to do nothing but help themselves. I bless you, those that investigate into it. I welcome anyone that wants to talk to me about the knowledge that I've learned from the testing from blood plasma. You'll be blessed and have a wonderful day. I have my mask, but I'm out here by myself. Bless you.